everybody. Happy Friday. The piece I just played is a piece called Butterfly, and it's by Cindy Blevins. And I thought butterfly was a good metaphor for what's happening in our world today. We want the butterfly, but we don't much like being in a cocoon. And with this safer at home, social distancing, it can feel like we're in a cocoon all alone. This is Pastor Lida from Westchester United Methodist Church, and I'm checking in on this Friday checking in to see how you're doing in our new normal, a normal that's uncertain, anxiety-causing, stressful, and kind of hard. Even when I'm out walking my dog, Molly, she wants to go say hi to the other dogs and the people she sees, but we can't. We must keep our distance. So, happy Friday. Good for you for making it first through the first week of safer at home because we are safer when we're keeping to ourselves. I miss worshiping together. I miss being able to go and hang out with my friends. And I'm figuring out what this new normal of staying connected without being physically present will look like. And I have to wonder if maybe our new normal, even when all of this is over, is going to look different in the ways that we connect, in the ways that we worship, in the ways that we care for each other. But you're not alone. As we struggle with technology, of trying to keep in touch via internet, as I'm struggling to learn how to live stream, and the reality is, is I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to live stream with any kind of fabulousness at all. And in fact, my live streaming worship services might be a little bit dorky. And you know what? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with it being a little bit dorky because you know what? I can do dorky. In fact, I can do dorky really well. And those of you who know me can probably attest to that. What I'm saying is it's okay to give yourself a break. If you can't get on to that Zoom meeting at church, it's okay. We have phones. We'll call to see how you're doing. And I've heard there's something else we can do to keep in touch, and it's called mail. That's right. You go to a place called a post office, you buy stamps, you write a card or a letter, you put a stamp on it, address it, and they magically go to the people you want them to go. It's just another way to let people know you're thinking of them, even if people are not connected to social media or the Internet. All will be well. So good luck with the rest of the weeks ahead. Know that we are still connected even if we're not meeting together. Pick up a phone. Call someone to say hi. Call that person in the neighborhood that you're not real friendly with, but check on them. See how they're doing. In fact, if you like Zoom, have a Zoom luncheon date with a friend. Get your Taco Bell burrito in hand. Log on to Zoom and spend 30 minutes in fellowship while you eat. In fact, on Sundays at 10 a.m., you can connect with us here at Westchester with Breakfast Church through Zoom. Just check out our website if you're online, and we can connect there. And if not, know that you can call the church office. I will answer the phone, and if I don't get back to you in that moment, I will call you back. I'd like to close with chapter 1, verse 9 of Joshua. And please don't get on me if I paraphrase or quote it badly. Be strong, be brave, be fearless. You are never alone. So give yourself a break. Do the best you can. Be safe, be well, and wash your hands. Bye for now.